Right, what's up, guys? If you read the description or look at the image wherever the editor places it in respect of the camera or whatever I am, I'll be having a giveaway on an unopened final mouse, uh, a white one. I will be signing the box if you want me to. To participate in the giveaway, make sure you follow me on Twitch, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, and retweet the giveaway tweet. That's it, and then you're done. All right, enjoy the video. You guys have no idea. You have no idea what I'm about to show you today. Legitimately, you have absolutely no clue. I found it myself by accident. I googled it and other people found it before me, but they, from what I could tell from the videos I found, they never explained how to do it. So, you know me. You know me. I'm about to show you some of the most game-breaking exploits in this game. And yes, I found the double pump, which I hate the Peacekeeper, and I will admit I'm a bit salty whenever someone kills me with the Peacekeeper, and I want it to be worse, and I want it to have a higher skill cap, but after using the animation cancel for a while, I know that it's fucking bullshit, and it should get nerfed, or at least get changed. <clears throat> this works with any character. You, I'm just picking Pathfind. He's picking Pack. Of course. Well, whatever. Remember Amanda gets banned for the exploit? Hey, respawn. Don't ban me. Hire me for bug testing, okay? I'm just going for the balloon. This is not going to be a win game. I'm just going to show you a game-breaking exploit. And yes, I've said game-breaking seven times now, but, you know. Not yet. Oh, I broke it. Editor, cut this part out. This part of the YouTube video is non-existent. YouTube people aren't going to see this. They're just going to see me, you know, a, a nice a nice edit, nice cut. A nice cut. No compilation of me failing it four times in a row. Just a quick edit to the cut where I actually do it, okay? Oh, you saw it there. I can do better, though. I just gotta figure out what like, what decides the direction. Going backwards again. Okay, okay. Maybe I have to turn around. Nope, still down. Okay. Okay, that one was better. Makes it so hard because my grenade key is fucking really far away. Let me see it. Let me see what you said. Fly from dropshooter balloon. Get near a surface while at low vertical speed. Look at desired direction while in Iron Man mode. Must be looking up to stay in air. Hold grenade button. G by default. Move mouse up fast. That goes downwards. First try! <laughs> okay, this is interesting. I understand the mechanic now. How the fuck is anyone gonna kill me? Ever. Okay. If my editor showed you any attempts of me failing, they are all fake. I can do it 100% of the time now. Every single fail is fake. I was just pretending. I was just pretending, chat. So, let's walk this through. Let's walk this through. First of all, if you're watching the video from this point, you cannot report me to respawn. Please don't get me bad, boys. Second of all, I saw you complaining about my haircut, and I forced my girlfriend to give me one. And I was begging her to give me a bowl cut, but she refused to. But she gave me a bowl cut in the back, okay? She will never see the back of my head again. It's just a little bit shorter now. So here's the, here's the glitch. Here's the glitch. You go to balloon. You go off the balloon. This works in any form of flying. When you do the hover thing, you can do it from ship or balloon. So the goal is... Just like in hovering, like I explained in my previous video, you want to start hovering like this. So when you hover like that, what your goal is to do is to open your grenade menu and look up. But you don't want to just look up in the air. You want to hold your grenade menu and keep looking up. Just keep moving your mouse up. Keep moving your mouse up. Do not stop moving your mouse upwards. And if you hold your grenade menu, which is 5 for me, it's G by default. You hold G or 5 or whatever it's bound to, you keep moving your mouse upwards. Every stroke you move it up, you will get a slight boost. I'm kidding. A fucking- a massive boost up in the air. You can also do this by not moving your mouse just as much to make sure that you can move in horizontal- like, instead of just vertical directions, you can move in more diagonal directions to travel across the map as well. But here's what it looks like when you do it. You fly, hover, Hold five, look up. And I'm up in the sky. And I can probably do this for the rest of the game and get a win like this. Uh, so what I'm going to do 
for the sake of the video, is probably keep flying around and see how long I can live and then give the win to the last person. Here you see I locked my camera by holding the menu in a diagonal way to make sure that I could travel further across the map. This is also possible to do in more horizontal angles like this. Thank you for the prime. And let's say, oh, you know, I want to travel over there or something. Let's see if I can pop my, my hover. Oh, it glitched. I got to look up a little bit more. I fucked it up. But the key is in continuously moving your mouse upwards. Don't you look in the direction you want. You hold your grenade button and then spam a mouse up. You spam a mouse up. Does it work to go faster down? That is a good question, actually. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it works to go faster down. Yes, it does. Respawn, fix this. This is not acceptable in the game. I have no idea why this happens. I understand each step of the process to make it happen now. But this is not... Okay, this needs to be hot fixed as soon as possible. I do not support mechanics like these, and I know I supported double pump in the beginning. After using double pump for a while, I know that that is fucking... That is dumb, too. I totally understand. I'm just toxic and salty. I'm just I'm just a fucking crybaby about shotguns, okay? Peacekeeper, peace from But this, just like the peacekeeper exploit, this needs to be fixed. Respawn, please fix. I guess you can also just hold your menu to delay your falling speed by a lot. Like I'm doing right here. So provided, this is also useful because you can go faster down. So if you're going from a dropship and you get close to a cliff, you hold down the grenade key and look downwards, it will move you down towards the ground faster. All right, boys, let's pick a fight. And you guys are going to get to pick which fight I go suicide to. So I don't win the game by just exp exploiting. Do you have to be in hover mode? Yes. That's when your mouse inputs dictates your movement speed. So basically, you can get super fast to the ground. Yes, you can touch the ground faster. So I can show it right here. Let's say I'm dropping from the ship. You know, I'm going to go down here towards the balloon. I start my hover right here. Oh shit, I went a little bit too far. Uh, dude, this is the same thing as just f fucking typing no clip in, in. Oh no. The same thing as typing no clip in console with an SV cheat server in CS. Same engine and everything, but here you just fly. This is stupid. Please fix this. Also, please don't ban me, respawn. I'm not doing this to win games. I'm doing it to showcase it, give it exposure, and hopefully fix it fast. I, I have more tricks. I discovered these. Okay, the previous one was accidentally discovered, but I wasn't the first one that found it. Other people found it. As I said in the video, um, pe uh, Saki or whatever his name was. Let me see. Yeah, Saki found it. Uh, well, Saki is the clip that I used. Well, I accidentally did it off stream. I accidentally did it again before I showed my video, and then I couldn't figure it out, and I was stuck. And I watched his video to help me on figuring out what part I wasn't doing correctly, so I couldn't do it repetitively. But now I can do it. So, you guys know that R301 Mozambique is by far my favorite loadout. I think Mozambique is really good. But sometimes, when you run out of ammo, and you're killing someone with an R301, and you have to finish them off, you have to wait for the weapon animations to start shooting, you, you can avoid that... Oops. By crouching as you swap weapons to instantly shoot. So to compare, let's shoot the R301 again. And instantly shoot the Mozambique. Here's what it usually looks like. Can you tell the difference between the speeds of swapping? So the way it works is really easy. So I shoot. And when I'm done shooting, I run out of ammo. I click 2. I click my swap weapon. And as soon as I click 2, I instantly crouch. But I never stop holding mouse 1. Do the entire thing. Well, for shotgun specifically, I click it. But if you hold it, it will shoot one shot with the Mozambique. So what I'm doing is... I'm holding mouse 1. Swapping weapons and never let go of mouse 1. The entire time. Only works with the Mozambique. It works with every weapon. So chat, pick a weapon combination that you want to see. And I'll show you that it works. So here, I'm shooting a target. Holding mouse 1. Oops, I messed it up. Okay, no, it just looks like there's still the animation, I guess, but it's definitely faster. So here's normal. It's slightly faster. It doesn't doesn't seem to be as big of a deal as with other weapons. Let's maybe try double R99. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is an exploit that shouldn't be in the game? Do you guys think this is an add to depth and skill cap to the game? Or do you think this is just stupid and should be patched out? 
Well, for the double peacekeeper, you can utilize my previous double pump strategy to actually just shoot faster. So I don't think you would ever really need to do this, but... Oh, did I pull it out? Yeah, I did. It's definitely faster. It's kind of broken, definitely, but I am messing it up every now and then. It's not a hard concept to do, but uh, accurately executing it in a fight and hitting a shot. I mean, you guys saw me trying to do the, the animation cancel on the double pump, and a lot of- most times, the only thing the animation cancel did for me with a peacekeeper is just make sure that I can miss more shots faster. <laughs> but this one, I feel like it's also a little bit harder to actually hit your shots afterwards, but it's definitely better than swapping weapons, because it's not impossible. It definitely feels really weird compared to the other guns. Might not work. Oh, I messed it up there. Oh no, I'm out of ammo on my legendary weapon. On my sniper. Don't worry. Just use the exploit and also what I think game breaking glitch of swapping weapons to make sure that you replenish your ammo. So look at my shotgun. 416. Let me shoot four shots real quick. Let me reload my gun. And now let me swap over my shotgun to the other spot. It doesn't have to be, it can be start from sl slot one or start from slot two. You just have to swap it. So I'm swapping my 412 weapon right now, my 412 massive, swapping it over to the other spot, and it's 416. This does, this works not only in practice range, but also in the actual game. So you can have infinite ammo with whatever legendary weapon you want. So either the Kraber or the massive. And if you run out of ammo, you just swap. That should be patched out. I definitely think this should be patched up. This is not skill, this is not a an increase in skill cap. This is not adding depth to the game. This is literally just giving a player a legendary weapon that is a rare drop from a package and also giving the player infinite ammo for that specific weapon. I do not think this should be in the game. I think this is broken. Don't ban me, Respawn. Does the ammo check work with every gun? No, because this is why. When you have a light gun and that needs light ammo, you have actual ammo in your inventory, right? So my inventory is not full and I have 71 shots right here. It takes ammo from my inventory. However, when you use a legendary weapon, even if your inventory is full, right? You never get any sort of legendary ammo in your inventory. The ammo only exists in the bottom right, which you guys can see even though my emote's there. It works with Kraber and other weapons. I wonder if I can do it out of scope. Oh yeah, yeah, I definitely can. What am I doing now? To explain it again, I'm shooting. And when I want to swap weapon, I click weapon swap and instantly click crouch. I don't crouch all the way down. I just click it. So I shoot and swap weapon. Oh, I forgot to pump it. Double peacekeeper. That should work for two quick shots, but it wouldn't work as well. Let me show you why. It wouldn't work as well to do double peacekeeper because you still have to do the pump animation da -da -da. after every, every shot. Yeah, it works, but I swap back. I can't shoot because I have to do the pump on both. Canceling the pump animation was the whole fundamental behind my my double pump exploit or my double pump animation cancel. So this, you can do two quick shots, but you could, wouldn't be able to do it after that because you would still have to do the, the pump animation. Pump on, think of the prime. You want hold to crouch? Oh yeah, so what, I don't use toggle crouch. I don't know what you guys play, but I just tap it really quickly. I just swap my weapon and click it really quick. Uh, so I, I have hold to crouch. That means I just do this. You can see I move very slightly. This is what I do when I swap weapons. Oh yeah, that works. Works like a charm. Works like a charm. That would probably be really good to play for snipers. Do you guys think that, especially with snipers, if this change stayed but only for snipers, would it still be broken? Double auto shoddy? Let's try it. That actually might be interesting. Oops. This kind of works. But speaking about Wingman being OP, right? And then imagine Peacekeeper being OP. Imagine getting flanked by something like this. Oh my god. Can these crush you? I didn't know that. <laughs> so do you explain how to be out properly? Yeah, so... Here's how you do it. I'll do it step by step. You sprint. I'll smash it, dear. I'll smash it. Think about the prime. You sprint. You slide. After you slide, you jump. After you slide, you jump and jump again. And you just keep jumping every time you get close to the ground. I use mouse wheel up to jump for this. Someone told me for console, you do left bumper, right bumper. For more movement and to maintain some momentum, you run, 
slide, jump, and let go of W. And see, I'm looking right and left. So when I'm looking to the left here, I'm holding A. I'm looking, I am holding A. So if I want to go to the left, I look to the left consistently in a consistent, like, movement. And I hold A. I don't hold W, only hold A. And then when I want to start looking right again, I look in a consistent movement to the right and I hold D. Like this. And to make it smoother, you, you want to time when you let go of A and D when you want to change your direction. And just play around with it. Over the sliding while you do it, I never stop sliding the entire time. I hold my slide down the entire time. I'm still sliding. I never stop sliding. I have hold on my crouch, so I'm holding down control. So I'm holding that control. D, A, D, A, still holding that control. I feel like you're slower. Yeah, so if you want to move fast, the best way to move fast is to sprint. You want to sprint and you want to do the slide jump every now and then. It's very, like, the slide jump makes it a little bit faster than just sprinting. Sprinting normally is at the same pace as a perfect b-hop. So if you b-hop perfectly, you'll be about as fast as a sprint. Sprinting, you click one button. But that's when you want to heal. That's when you want to start b-hopping. Because you can heal or whatever you want to do when sprinting. Especially uh, if you're on a flat surface and you want to do it. So if I want to sprint and there's a slight uphill, for instance, so let's like, is there a slight uphill in the training area? Yeah, right here. So if I would want to sprint like, kind of like this direction, you know, if I want to sprint kind of like this, upwards, sprinting is way better. If I want to B hop it, I will lose a lot of momentum trying to go upwards, as you can see. But I will get more momentum than sprinting going downwards because you would be normally like gliding when you're going downwards anyway. Does the strafing work exactly like CS and TF2? No. So bunny hopping in this game is a lot easier than in Counter-Strike. Uh, strafing in this game is very different because the air acceleration is input in a different way. And it doesn't really increase your movement speed by that much. It's just a little bit. A little bit. Jesus. Oops. D colon. How to reverse slide and B hop? Reverse slide is you sprint, jump, hold control and S. So you sprint, jump, control and S. And then you can let go of S if you want. You just have to hold control as after it started. Maybe you don't even need... Oh, you don't even need to hold S. I didn't know that. So you just sprint, jump, and hold slide. Sprint, jump, hold slide. You can also do it off of very minor movement speeds. It'll give you a boost. So you can just do it almost from standing still with a little bit of momentum. But sprinting makes you go further. But that's why if you want to do stuff like this... Someone's over here, you want to shoot him, you know? You're being chased by three people. Can you do slide B-hop backwards? Yes, you can. Um, just like B-hopping, you hold A and D depending on your movements, right? But here, it would be mirrored, so... You see my movements look way different. That's because when I'm going backwards, what I'm doing is I'm holding A, but I'm looking to the right since everything is backwards. So I'm holding the A button and I'm looking to the right and then opposite. So I'm holding D looking to the left right now. There's another little tip for the video. Um, not really like a, a, an exploit or a glitch or anything. It's just how the strafing works in this game. So if you're being chased and you want to... Let, let me show you this first. If you're sprinting forward, let's say you're trying to dodge shots, you don't have a gun. In other games, you might be sprinting forward and going like left and right and left and right. But in this game, movement works differently. So if you're sprinting forward and I'm tapping left and right really fast right now, can you see I'm barely moving? I'm like almost stuck in place. It's like I'm just walking. It's like I'm not sprinting. It's actually maybe even slower than like walking. So what you want to do when dodging shots is not go left and right because there's a point when you swap your direction and movement when sprinting where it just resets your movement. You see, I almost stand still for a little bit there. The best way to strafe is to just look around while holding W and know how far and how sharp you can make your turns without losing any of your movement speed. So if you do like that, you will obviously stop entirely. You will 90 degrees, it'll stop pretty much too. So smooth movements at a consistent pace to learn how fast you can move for jumping or strafing to dodge is the best way to do it.